Hey, party people. I just got to the mall in Austin, Texas to do some Lego shopping for double VIP. Or actually two times insider points. Is that what it's called now? It sounds weird. I'm not used to that yet. I'm so bad with dates and remembering when these things happen, but I just looked it up. It's going from the 10th to the 15th of October. And today's the 11th. I actually tried coming to the Lego store yesterday just to be sure I could get that pirate gift with purchase, but my car started shaking a little bit and I think I need an oil change. So today I took Ross's car. Whenever I drive his car, I have to adjust the seat like crazy because he's 6'4" and I am not so he'll have to deal with that when we get home I'm looking forward to seeing everything that they have today because I need to spend at least a hundred dollars to get that pirate gift with purchase I'm personally not super in love with it but I know Ross really wants it so you know I have to get it and there's really no Lego sets out right now that I'm super in love with I'm really trying to save up for like November December and January because in November the new piranha plant comes out and I really want that it's like an IP botanical that's awesome and so even though there's no Lego sets that we're like really after today I will be checking out the pick a brick wall and seeing if there's any interesting pieces i did call them a few days ago and it didn't sound like there was anything awesome but we'll still check it out and then there's new build a minifig pieces here as well so i'll see if that's interesting see if i want to pick up some of those but what i'm super excited for today is the new what is it Wait, it's actually starting to rain a little bit, so let me head inside so I don't get soaked, and I'll tell you what I'm planning to buy on the way. It's a little drizzly. I don't like it. It's definitely not fall yet in Texas, but I'm, you know, pretending. I just want to wear long sleeves and sweaters already, and this tree is yellow. It's not green anymore, so at least, like, the seasons are changing. I checked the weather before I left, and it said it was just going to be gray today. It didn't say anything about rain. Ah, but here we are. Rainy Barton Creek Mall. The Lego that I'm planning to get today is for a Halloween party that we're hosting. This is our first time hosting a Halloween party, so I'm kind of nervous about it just because like I want people to have fun. We've already started planning out all the food and drink and that kind of stuff. But what we're doing is like a costume contest and then like a pumpkin decorating contest. And I thought it'd be kind of fun since like we're such Lego people to give away different Lego sets. So I'm thinking like maybe the botanicals and a reindeer battle pack, but I'm not sure what they have in stock. So I'm really just gonna pick up anything that catches my eye today. Anything that's like maybe spooky or just something fun like the botanicals. Something that non-Lego fans would also enjoy. And we just got to the Lego store here. They have all the Sonic stuff on display in the front. My favorite part is that Amy has like a little cocktail stand. I think it's really cute. There's also this big Technic car. There's these cute little circles on the front. That's kind of fun. And then the NASA Mars rover. Didn't they make one of these? I guess this one's like a Technic one. I didn't even know this was coming out, honestly. I do not keep up with Technic. Oh, and then over here's some info on the GWAPs today. Oh, that's just like information about like different spooky things they have. And then this one is the gift with purchase, the pirate thing with purchases over $100. And two times insider points is happening right now. That sounds so weird. I'm so used to VIP. But on display, we have the Venator. Very exciting. Me and Ross kind of shared building this one. I think I built this second half of it and he built the first part. He did most of the Technic essentially. And then they have the pretty bugs here, the insect collection. I think I like the butterfly the most. And then the grasshopper or praying mantis. <laughs> and then the Hercules beetle just kind of creeps me out, but it's also kind of cute, you know? And then there's green gods. I did not purchase green gods, but I think I would like to get it at some point just because it would fit into the Lego city really well. I should probably finish Diagon Alley first since I've had it since like 2020. <laughs> Anyways, let's head inside. Okay, it's been so long since the last time I was here. Nothing is where it was. Everything's rearranged. Range, it's actually kind of weird. I'm not used to this. But let me just show you some of the fun things on the shelf. It's been so long since I've been at a Lego store, like any Lego store. So it's cool seeing all the brand new Disney stuff here, the new camera in the up house. The little Peter Pan one. This one looks so good next to like the Haunted Mansion and the little mini Disney castle. This one too. Like all of them look really nice next to each other, but I do wish that this one had a minifigure. I feel like the magic carpet might be like the minifigure, you know, in this, but kind of disappointing we don't have the Sultan maybe would be really cool. I didn't realize the Disney Wish sets already came out. They do look really cool. Like I like this one a lot. I like the little pieces in here. I feel like those are stickers, which is kind of unfortunate, but like there's a lot of really interesting pieces. So I am excited to build this one at some point soon. It's just hard to get excited about the Lego sets that are about a movie that you haven't seen yet and isn't out. <laughs> and then this one's cute. I haven't seen this one yet. The little like shell. That's fun, okay. And then giant Disney castle down here. I still need to finish building mine. That's really embarrassing, honestly, but I've been so focused on mock building, which actually leads us over to this set here. I just received the second copy of this set and I've been mock building with it. I'm basically building each level kind of similarly, like the same style, taking the same building techniques, but like expanding upon it. And I'm gonna build it into a cliffside. It's gonna look really cool. And I have this one too, so I'll probably like integrate that in some way. But with two of these sets now, with all those pieces, I'm excited to show you. It's starting to look really good. And I also really like the parrots. I have the pink parrot, but I haven't built it yet, so I need to do that soon. I remember being so confused when the pink one came out, because, like, the blue one was already here, and I was like, wait, 
wasn't there already a parrot? I was so confused. I just really like all the different friend sets because they're really good for getting motivated with mock building. Like all the different colors here are so much fun and the backs are open. So it's just like a really easy start to like modifying and getting more creative with sets. Like the botanical garden here, I bought a second one and I modified them together and it looks really nice. Found in all the different Harry Potter stuff here. I actually, I feel bad. I have this set and I parted it out. Like I sorted all the pieces into my collection because I really liked this color, like that weird kind of fleshy Dobby skin color. I want to use it for some mocks in the future so Dobby is no more. I feel bad about it but he will be used in other ways soon hopefully. Oh, and this is kind of fun. They built like a little railroad track for the train. That's pretty cool. That looks good. Oh and it actually continues into this one here. I thought that was a mirror. Oh that's fun. I really like the new Lego City sets too. Look at the little polar bear and the polar bear babies. In the far corner of my Lego City I want to do something with like the wintry sets and do like a hillside or like a ski slope or something because we have so many winter sets now and I don't know what to do with that. And then there is the dream sets too. Ross really wants this funky pirate shark ship thing. Like he's super into that and look how spooky it is. Like perfect for Halloween. And now would actually be a really good time to buy it. So maybe I'll ask him about that because I want more gift with purchases. Since it's on his list already, I might as well grab it now. I'm just really impressed with Lego dreams overall. And it's kind of fun seeing some of these sets ending up at Costco's for like 20% off. So I think it was like that one and the turtle I saw. No that one and then like this little wind farm one <laughs> the stable of dream creatures then we've got ninjago over here this is also kind of embarrassing this set here i was like so nervous about it selling out so i bought it day one it's still in the box it's just living in my closet this one's kind of a spooky set too this like marvel what is it venomized Groot. that could be fun for the halloween party this is kind of exciting too this brick or treat little kiosk thing i don't even know what you would call it but it has all the spooky stuff in one spot this minecraft pumpkin set the little what zombie dude that's kind of cute and it's kind of hard to bend down because my knee is still kind of not great but they do have these pumpkin heads and like the skeleton as well i've never seen them have those at lego stores so that's kind of cool they even have the smaller one how much are they the small ones are 13 and the big ones are 30. there's zombies down there too this is cute and then hocus pocus right here in the middle i love this like pumpkin build i actually want to do something like that that looks really good but yeah i am going to be building hocus pocus soon i've had it in my room for like a month or two but i was waiting for spooky season because i feel like right now is the most appropriate time for hocus pocus and then looking at the build a minifig section, they have these little tree pieces that I think are so cute, like to fill out a forest maybe, like a haunted forest where like some of the trees are actually people. I think that'd be really fun. And then like build on top of it, you know, use more of this like nougaty color and like build a tree with like the minifig as the base, make it really spooky. Maybe. I also like this ponytail piece. I don't know why, I just think it looks neat. And then they have these like torso pieces that go with the trees. I don't know, I'm thinking about trying to see if we can make little tree monster people. Oh wait, here's one. These little happy Halloween torsos are really fun. I'll come back to this, I'll come back. Oh, look at the little pumpkin. I think I like that pumpkin the most. That's my favorite pumpkin. And then that one in the back there is probably my second favorite pumpkin. And then this pumpkin here is probably the closest to my skill level. That's the kind of pumpkin that I could make. It's kind of neat though. I guess I haven't been to Lego stores in a while, but they have Lego 2K Drive for sale, like the video game. That's so fun. Oh, this is really cute too. We have the free gift with purchase, the scary pirate island with purchases of $100 or more. We got our little pirate dude, Jack Sparrow, hanging out on his little raft and then the little pirate cave i feel like this would actually look really good in the island area in my city so ross actually isn't gonna be able to get this i am stealing it from him and i'm gonna be putting it in my city he can have the minifig though but i'm getting the bill he doesn't know that yet he doesn't know that that's what's gonna happen but <laughs> i'm already claiming it i want oh, it wait, that's exactly what i want to do in my city a little tree guy just like hanging out in the forest with the greenery around him that's so good and then imagine if it was just like taller on top that right there is the vibe i want in my little spooky forest that i haven't built yet but i want to oh and then there's a brand new holiday set for 2023 i love the little outhouse i don't know why but the outhouse is just kind of funny <laughs> i guess i don't know but then i also really like the trees and like those new fern pieces they use for them that's pretty cool yeah i am excited to build this soon i'm waiting till like maybe november or december it just doesn't feel right building it yet but now coming back to this halloween table here i was looking at haunted mansion and it's normally 40 but it's marked down to 20 and I'm thinking that something like this would be really good for the Halloween party as like a costume contest gift. And I was so ready to pick this one up and purchase it for the party, but it turns out that there's a Steamboat Willie gift with purchase coming soon. I think on the 15th of October, I think. And so why would I buy this now if I can come back on the 15th and purchase this one along with like maybe some other fun Disney stuff so I can get my Steamboat Willie. So I think that's the plan for now. I was looking at these and I was like, these would be perfect. But no, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna come back. I'm just so happy being back at a Lego store. It's been so long and I haven't even been here 
since this one came out, or at least I don't think I have, but we actually just got this one. I'm so excited to make some content around it. Let me know if there's anything specific you would want to see. We might review it. We might try to do something fun with it for the city. I have no idea. That thing is also very loud. Look at a little pirate ship. It's so cool. Like the sails and everything. I really like this. I'm excited to build it. And now we have arrived at all the flowers. This is kind of the vibe I'm going for, for our giveaway. Now I feel like this would actually be perfect. Like it's obviously not like the prettiest out of all of them. Cause like they're supposed to be dead flowers. You know, I feel like dead flowers are just like objectively not as pretty as like that or that but it is perfect for fall and i feel like you know even though like halloween will be almost over by the time our party happens it would be good for like november and thanksgiving and all that for like a centerpiece maybe so i do think that that one would be perfect for today actually i'm gonna grab it i'm just gonna commit right now all right it is pick a brick time there's like a whole halloween thing going on so we're gonna start with that um i called a few days ago and i asked if there was anything exciting on the wall and they did not mention these pretty purple leaves i would have been here earlier but it looks like they have a ton of them i feel like they're just really fun i don't know if it's like spooky though i don't know if this is like really a spooky vibe but i do want to pick up a few maybe like a half a cup of those they also have a bunch of orange bricks here i don't think i need those in my life at this moment or bones actually i think i got like a full cup of bones one time and so i have a lifetime supply of bones i don't need any more ever again these orange plates these one by six plates i don't know what i would do with that maybe oh you know what huh wait a minute imagine this as like an accent in a black building like a black building with like orange kind of accents around it like a european style kind of building i feel like that would look really cool so i'm considering it actually i might pick some of those up and then these are kind of neat too i like to call this scooby-doo purple because this is the same purple they use in the mystery mansion i don't know how to use these pieces though i have so many of them in like this really nice gray color i think it's like this color gray and they just kind of sit in my collection i thought that i could make good use of them but i'm still not sure how to make that happen so if there's any ideas please let me know i think i'll hold off on getting them for now since i'll probably be back on the 15th but it's good to know that they have them and they still have quite a few red bricks i am so good on bricks i do not need any more bricks or webs. I think I have a lot of webs at home. But it's really cool that they have like a whole little spooky section. Oh wait, what are these? Oh, it's like that fake glow in the dark green color. I might buy some. <laughs> I might do it. I feel like these with the orange and then like black for most of the build would look really fun and spooky. I'm gonna make my own haunted house. I just decided. I'm gonna do it. It's gonna be awesome. But now looking at the rest of the wall. Oh, what are these? I feel like myself and whoever I talked to on the phone at Lego have very different opinions <laughs> regarding what's an interesting piece because these are awesome little like trans dark blue cheese slopes that's exciting and then these two by two like what dark tan tiles we have a bunch at home otherwise i would be buying some today orange jumpers could be kind of fun lots of plates down here i think we're good on plates i have a lot of plates at home and in these pieces i think i bought a ton of these last time i was here i bought like two or three cups for some reason i'm still not even sure how to use those pieces these would be great because in my lego city right now along the whole edge of my downtown it's like random different colors because I ran out of this light gray. So I might pick some up because I really need to complete that because it looks kind of icky right now. Might buy some chairs because I'm a mock builder now and buildings need chairs. Some orange bricks. They have little teeth pieces. That's kind of cool. I don't know what I would do with those, but that's kind of exciting. And then these white one by four tiles. I have a bunch of home. Otherwise, I would be buying some. I feel like these are good for like bringing your builds to life and adding minifigs. Like in our Disney castle, we used to have Tinkerbell kind of flying with this and like have fireworks on it. It was pretty cool. And then these little, I like to call them washing machines not ones because like they kind of look like a washing machine i have a bunch at home already otherwise <laughs> i'd be buying these i feel like that's like every piece here i like these orange pieces i might get some of these i don't know what i'll use them for but some sort of mock at some point for spooky month and then these pieces here are kind of neat it's like this metallic black color and i don't even know what to do with these there's so many pieces here where i'm like that's so neat but i don't know how i would actually use it in my builds but i might buy a few because i think it's kind of neat and um something about this is just calling my name i need all it. right time to start filling up some cups Here's what I've got so far, the dark blue cheese slopes, and then some chairs. I want to grab a few of these. I wanted to get some spider webs too. Here's a little cup update. I feel like I'm not using my space in here very well. I'll show you everything I got in the car. Here's my little haul so far. Okay, yeah, I'm very happy with all the pick brick that I got, but now I'm looking at the flowers again, and I'm thinking for Halloween prizes, we got this one for the big one, but then if we have different categories for costumes, like most creative or most original or funniest or, you know, whatever, 
we could pass out these so that then more people get gifts and it'll feel more exciting for everybody. So I'm thinking I'll pick up this one, a sunflower, and the roses. So I'm about to check out with everything, but they're just showing me this little minifig trade station where if you open a box of the Marvel minifigs and you don't get the one that you want, you can trade it and pick out a different one. And it's only at this store apparently, but that's such a cool idea. I got my Lego. I'm very excited. And I'm actually now realizing that I forgot to buy any of the minifig pieces, like those really cute little tree dudes. But I will be back on the 15th and I don't think they're gonna be gone. So at least I can buy them then. <laughs> but while I'm at the mall though, I'm actually gonna go to Abercrombie. I haven't been to Abercrombie in like 20 years. Actually, I don't think I've ever shopped at Abercrombie. It was always just a really expensive Hollister, you know? I just need new jeans. I didn't get anything. Escalators. The cookies always smell so good here, but y'all, something really cool happening at Krispy Kreme this month are Scooby Donuts. They have Mystery Machine and Scooby and like a Zoinks one, I think. And I want nothing more than to eat a Scooby Donut. I think that's the coolest thing ever. I am a huge Scooby fan, if you didn't know. <laughs> and I just want to eat a donut mystery machine. I think that'd be awesome. But I think the issue is that you have to buy a dozen. Like it's like a whole pack of them. And I would only want like one. <laughs> so I'm thinking about buying them for our Halloween party. I think that would be really fun just to have like some spooky donut for everyone to enjoy. It's windy. I just want to take a minute to show you the trees here. They're slightly changed. There's like a red one over there. They're so pretty. I moved my car way over to the other side of the parking lot because there was a guy in the car in front of me just like on his phone talking and I was like this feels weird I don't want to do this in front of this guy so now we're just kind of chilling over in this abandoned area Very spooky for Halloween and it's time for our car haul even though you probably saw everything that I got I'm gonna show you wait did I get my G-Wop I didn't get my G-Wop I'm going back <laughs> Oh yeah, I just called the Lego store. I was like, hi, I just checked out. Can I come back? I don't have my little pirate dude. And they were like, yeah, just, you know, come come back. It's good. So um, I'm just going to grab my receipt, hide my Lego so they don't get stolen, and also move my car back closer so that I don't have to walk all the way over there. I feel like that would be kind of annoying. Also, because I know someone will think I'm lying. Here's the flower set and everything else in here. I just decided to bring the whole bag back inside with me because I don't know, I didn't want to leave it in the car. I was kind of anxious about it. Okay, I just left Lego again and I do have my gift with purchase. I am excited. I can't believe I didn't realize that it wasn't in there. I didn't think to check my bag. Me and the brick specialist that was like cashing me out at Lego were just like chatting it up. So, you know, we just forgot. But in other news, after the car haul that will happen this time. I know it was interrupted last time because of the GWAP incident. Me and my husband are going to Pluckers tonight. It's this wing restaurant in Austin that I love. I always get Dr. Pepper flavored wings because they are yummy, even though it kind of grosses out his sister, but she's not coming with us. So I don't think it matters. Okay, we are back in the car and I'm just going to do the haul here. There's like a guy two cars over in his car now, but I just don't care. <laughs> We're doing this. The first set I got is this one. I thought it would be really good as a Halloween party gift since it's not like irrelevant on November 1st. You know, like if you give someone something Halloween-ish a few days before Halloween, to me that's like giving someone something Christmassy for Christmas. Like the holiday's over. But at least this one, they can enjoy it through November and even into December, maybe. You know, like the dried flowers, it's good for Thanksgiving. Next up, we got the roses, the sunflowers, and the, what are these? The lotus flowers? I thought these were tulips. Yeah, I got lotus flowers, okay. I was thinking about getting a bigger botanical set, but then I saw these three and I was like, you know what? I'd rather give out more stuff at our party as prizes than just like, one or two big things and with like a halloween costume party we can have like best overall and they'll get this one here but then like funniest or most accurate scariest cutest like whatever categories we come up with we can give out three extra little gifts to people so i thought that that was exciting i thought it was a good idea and then powers number one is truly just a full cup full of these one by three light bluish gray bricks pab cup number two um this is really just like a halloween monster mash of pab i got some dark trans blue cheese slopes some chairs some of these little like wheel thingies lots of orange plates some of these like fake glow-in-the-dark pieces it's like a snot but double the height spider web and then i think there's some orange jumpers and slopes as well i don't really know what i'm gonna do with this but hopefully something spooky and fun this month and then finally 
the reason we're even here is the gift with purchase. You had to spend a hundred dollars to get this, which I think is fair. I think it's a cute little gift with purchase. You can see the back here as well. He's a little pirate minifig. Look at him. Look at him with his treasure. He's living the dream. There's even some bats in here. I don't know. It just looks like a really fun kind of spooky pirate island. I'll give Ross the minifigure, but I'm keeping the build for my city probably and that's everything for this car haul for this lego shopping trip i will be back on the 15th because i want that steamboat willy i need to figure out what disney stuff to buy and actually ross's niece i guess it's his cousin's child she loves lego and she loves lego disney like the disney princess stuff so maybe we can buy some little gifts for her we want to be the cool lego aunt and uncle you know anyways y'all thank you so much for watching i'm gonna head home because traffic is gonna be no bueno in this it's not rain but I don't know, gray. When I checked the weather this morning, it was just like gray clouds. And I want my wings because I'm pretty hungry. So anyways, y'all, thanks again for watching. And I will see you very soon for the Steamboat Willie gift with purchase. Bye.